Praise the Lord. Evangelize the way we preach Jesus Christ. I welcome you once again to Evangelize the way. We are here to talk about Jesus and Jesus only. If you say evangelize the word, you respond, preach Jesus Christ. God bless you. Today, I want to say some few words about Christ with you. I know your life will be much blessed. Stay tuned as we listen to the message. Try your possible best to share with friends, families, and all other people in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Let's pray. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you for how far you've brought us. We are here to listen to your word. Give us inside knowledge and understanding in your word. I glorify your name for Christ doing marvelously and wonderfully with us in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Spread your word, impart us. Let us trample over the devil, over the snake, constantly, always and always and always and always. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, our Lord's name, we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. God bless you so much for your time for listening to the message. Today we are going to listen to a message that is titled, Like Lightning It Falls. Like Lightning It Falls. God bless you. Uh, if you are talking about lightning, I just want to have some brief introduction about what lightning is about, some features of lightning, and then we proceed forward into the scriptures, then we diagnose and then by say the what the Bible has for us about like lightning it falls. God bless you. If you are talking about lightning, uh, usually there are flashes of light that usually occur during rainfall. Yes, or mostly when there is a shift or a change in the clouds. Yes, when you realize that there is a change in clouds when it's coming to rain or during rainfall, there is some flashes of light that usually occur on the surface of the earth. It just comes in a blink of an eye and then it's no more. Yes, this is what we call lightning. And then if you study scriptures very well from Genesis chapter 1, chapter 2, when the Bible has been describing creation, how God created the heavens and the earth, we are going to realize that God didn't create anything like lightning in Genesis. We didn't see anything like lightning or thunder or something like that in Genesis. Yes, so usually we, we, we I have been thinking about it, how lightning okay because... If you check creation, the beginning of time, how God through Moses described everything and so forth, we didn't see anything like lightning. So I was wondering how lightning was created and the God Spirit directed me to Revelation chapter 4 verse number 5. It was talking about, if you read Revelation chapter 4 verse 1 down, God was, John was describing the throne room of God, the vision what he saw from the throne room of God. So if you enter the room, or let me say the room of God, there is a throne, there is a seat, and the seat there was a one that sat on that throne. There were so many description about what John saw in Revelation chapter 4, verse number 1. And I just want to draw our understanding to one thing that John made mention in the verse 5. He said that and lightning or flashes of lightning proceed forth from the throne of God. So I realized that there is a throne in heaven, and then the one that sitting on that throne, out of the throne cometh forth lightning. Lightning. So I realized that though in Genesis we didn't see anything like lightning that has been created, but then John in Revelation chapter 4, verse number 5 made that understand that lightning is actually. Uh, something that is being produced from the throne of God. So our Father, our King, our God, our Savior, and the only Savior of mankind, the one that carries all powers in this universe, on in heaven, on earth, beneath the earth, out of the throne that he is seated on, cometh for the lightning. And I think that if you check the solar system, or let me say, if you check everything on the surface of the earth, lightning is one of the most powerful Tool on the surface of the earth, it carries a very high voltage. And I don't think if lightning strike any living thing on the surface of the earth, that thing can live. Yes, it carries so much energy, it carries so much power that people are afraid of lightning. That is why people. People are not afraid of rain when it's raining, but people are usually afraid of the lightning that is comes around. And and even if you are not afraid of the lightning, after that flashes of lightning, you just imagine some of the sound that the lightning produces, what we call tender. It's actually as a result of the lightning that occurred. Yes, lightning is so powerful. If you check the solar system, it's one of the higher producing energy in the solar system. It has a very high amount of voltage that 
I don't know what I can compare that voltage to because nothing can survive on the surface of the earth if it's being struck by lightning. Yes, if it's being struck by lightning. Why do we call why do we call it lightning? Because it carries some form of light. If we check the whole solar system, nothing travels faster than lightning. Nothing. There is nothing in this universe on this surface of the earth that travels faster than lightning. Because we, you there is it actually even drawn from the name light, and we know that light is the fastest thing on the surface of the earth. And I think it's even millions times faster than the second fastest thing on the surface of the earth. Lightning is so powerful. If it flashes right now and within a blink of an eye, you can blink your eye, and within that time, there can be a flashes of lightning you will never see. Lightning is so fast that it's so. I don't know what I can compare that into, but I think it's one of the most fastest things that can ever be found in the universe. And also, usually when lightning occurs, it bright, no matter how bright the thing is, no matter how bright the day is, or how bright the night is, the moment there is lightning, instantly there is a, some source of light that has been produced. But then that source of light is produced from a short period of time. Because it's just in a blink of an eye. So it's been faster than even a second. I can say you can calculate the speed of the light. It's even in something 3.8 times 10 raised the power something something raised the power. Whatever. But then what I want us to understand is lightning is very fast. It's just being produced within some minutes of time or some second. Some second. Let's go back to scriptures and then let's study what it means by it falls by lightning. And we are reading our Bible for the gospel reading is from Luke chapter 10, verse number 17 down to 20. When when the seventy returned with joy, saying, Lord, even the demons are subject to us in your name. And Jesus said to them, I saw Satan fall like lightning from heaven. I repeat, and Jesus said to them, I saw Satan fall like lightning from heaven. Behold, I give you the authority to trample on serpents and scorpions and over all the powers of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Nothing by shall any means hurt you. And I like that word, nothing and by any means hurt you. Nevertheless, do not rejoice in this that the spirits are subject to you, but rather rejoice because your name are written in heaven. This is the quote in the gospel reading that I want to share with us. Jesus was with so many disciples at that time, and then he wanted to send the disciples into the place he was about going. So he sent them two by two, even though they were going, I think they were a little bit afraid. Yes, they were a little bit afraid. Yeah. But then when they went, when, they raise the name of Christ on high. They talk about Jesus and they preach in the name of Jesus. So when they return, they return with joy, saying, Lord, when we went, the demons were subject to us in your name. And then Jesus said to them, I saw Satan fall like lightning from heaven. That was the response that Jesus gave them. Though they were rejoiced, they, 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 they were very happy that demons had subjected to them. And Jesus replied that, oh, do not only rejoice, because I myself, though I was away, I saw Satan fall like lightning from heaven. Let me tell you one thing. Satan didn't fall like my mother. No, your mother. Satan didn't fall like my father or your father. There are so many prophets that have fallen in the Bible, but Satan didn't fall like one of them. Satan didn't fall like the speed of the car that, if a car is going to have an accident, the speed that he used to fall. No, Satan didn't fall like any of them. Satan fall from heaven like lightning. So imagine what happens to the place where Satan lands. You can't survive. I'm telling you something. Satan is one of the most dangerous things you can ever experience on the surface of the earth. The, one, one of the difficult situations that has ever happened on the surface of the earth was the day Satan fell on the surface of the earth. It was so wonderful that the earth couldn't contain. And I'm telling you, Satan fell like lightning. So if you don't know, you can ask how, you can search about how powerful the lightning is. Satan didn't fall like a weak person. No. That wasn't how Satan fell from heaven. Satan fell like lightning. And do you know lightning? Lightning carries so much amount of energy. It's so energetic that it can strike even, it can break the hardest thing on the surface of the earth. 
You can be hard as an iron. You can be hard like a bronze or any other thing. But I am telling you that if Satan falls on you, I am telling you, you will never survive. You will never survive. Jesus said that he saw Satan fall like lightning from heaven. But do you know the most important thing that I rejoice about this heaven? Satan has a very short period. He fell like lightning. He fell like lightning. He didn't fall like the daylight, like the light that the sun produced or like the rays of the sun. No. He fell like a lightning. It is just within a blink of an eye and then Satan is gone. This is the this is why we worship Jesus because Jesus says that if you believe in me and I'm going to give you eternal life there is life eternal in Jesus the light that Christ produces is life eternal the light that we have in Christ the light that we have in Christ that overcome darkness is light eternal that is why that God said in Genesis chapter 1 verse number 2 that let there be light and that light has never departed from the time that God said. But Satan has survived for only a short period of time because he fall like lightning. Lightning doesn't last for long. Though it's very energetic, it's very powerful, it's very, it has so much authority, it has dominion, but then it lasts for a very blink of an eye. Within a blink of an eye, Satan is no more. Don't be afraid of the devil because in a blink of an eye, he is no more. You just have to position yourself in the right place. So that when he falls, he doesn't land on you. Check your position. Are you standing on the way of the devil? There are many people that Satan is falling on their location. Change the location. That is what I, that I can remember. I shared a message here that relocate your location. Change your location. Hey, you are standing in exactly where Satan will fall. Why are you still there? Change the location. If he falls on you, you may not survive. But that I'm telling you that he is only a, for a short period. Sin is ruling on the surface of the earth for a short period. A time is coming and the time will come. When Jesus Christ will condemn sin, he's going to destroy the powers of darkness. He's going to destroy the power of sin. And the time has come for you to be delivered. The time has come for you to be delivered. Jesus told the disciples, that behold, even though I was here, I saw Satan fall like lightning. And then from therefore, he said that I give you the authority. That was what Jesus said. Jesus knew that Satan is so energetic. He carries so much amount of power that we have no power all over. Jesus knew that if Satan lands where you are right now, you have no life to live. This is why anyone who has sin is dead. This is why we are there, because Satan actually landed on the surface of the earth. So all the people on the surface of the earth, we are all dead in the sight of God, that only Jesus has the authority to give you life. Let me read something from Revelation. You, uh, okay, before we go to Revelation, let me continue with the look. And the look says that, Jesus says that, Behold, I give you authority to trample on serpents and then scorpions. These are just symbolic of who Satan is. Satan appeared in the Garden of Eden like the old serpent, and it's that same serpent that the Bible is talking about here, and then scorpions. You know, these are one of the most powerful animals on the surface of the earth. Their venom can kill you very easily. Yes, you know, you and I, we know that one of the most dangerous and the most poisonous animal God has ever created are these animals. And they are also found on the surface of the earth. But Jesus has given us authority to trample over serpents and scorpions. And these are just symbolic of the energy that the lightning contains. I am telling you that you can live with the power and the authority of Jesus to trample over this Satan that fell like lightning. What are you waiting for? Jesus has the power. Jesus has the authority. He is ever ready to give you power. And Jesus says that, and over all the powers of the enemy. And you see, Satan is not just Satan, though. He carries some amount of power. And that the power is what the Bible refers to as the lightning. Lightning is so powerful. He is so energetic. But then we have a God, we have a Savior, Jesus, that has given us power over these powers of the enemy and he said that and nothing shall by any means hurt you do you know why jesus continues to explain why he said that by you shall not be hurt by enemies by saying that nevertheless do not rejoice in this that the spirits are just subject to you but rather be rejoiced because your names are written in heaven listen 
Lightning doesn't fall from earth to heaven, but rather lightning falls from heaven to earth. So if you are rejoicing because your name is written in heaven, definitely Satan shall fall from heaven. Satan shall never fall into heaven. He shall fall out of heaven. So if you are in heaven and your name is written in heaven, definitely Satan shall fall over you. Do you understand the message that we are communicating? Uh, Jesus says that, for we are, Paul was what the one said, he said that, for we are seated in heavenly places. Where are you seated? If you are still sitting at Ayuki University, if you are sit, still sitting at Takra, De Akra, Kumase, I'm telling you, this is the place Satan landed though. Paul says that we are seated at heavenly places with the Messiah, with Jesus. Where are you located? Are you located in Jesus? If you are located in Jesus in heaven, then hey, let me tell you, rejoice. Because Satan will definitely fall from heaven. He shall never fall into heaven. This is the this is the joy that we have in Jesus. That no matter the situation, no matter what happens, we are seated with Jesus in the heavenly places. And Satan shall fall from heaven. Satan shall always fall under our feet. Because we are seated in the heavenly places. We are seated in the heavenly places. If you know you are not seated with Jesus... I want you to know that he says that Jesus says that in my name he is giving authority to anyone that believes him. The authority that Jesus gave, we gave them to the disciples. He didn't give it to anyone. If you read the Luke chapter 10, verse number 1, that you are going to realize that this authority that Jesus gave was actually to the disciples. Are you a disciple of Jesus? I am asking you a question. Are you a disciple of Jesus? That is a question I'm asking you. Let me continue to read something in the Revelation chapter 12. Revelation chapter 12. It was actually talking about the devil, the old serpent, as the Bible talks about here. And he said, they over Revelation chapter 12, verse number 11. I'm reading the 11 and 12, and then I'll jump to 17. And he said, and they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony. And they did not love their lives to the dead. Therefore, rejoice, O heaven, and you who dwell in them. Listen. The Bible says that, therefore rejoice, O heaven. You understand more if you read from the Revelation chapter 12, verse 1 down. Was actually Satan and some certain occurrences, some war that broke out of heaven between Michael and the other angels and the devil and his angels. And Jesus says that, and this is what, what Jesus told John. Because actually this is a word from Jesus. To John. In, if you read Revelation chapter 1, verse number 1, it was a revelation of God that God gave to Jesus and Jesus gave it to John through his angel. So this is actually Jesus. This was actually a word of Jesus to John. And he says that therefore rejoice, O heavens, and you who dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and the sea. For the devil has come down to you. And you know when the devil was coming down to the earth, he came like lightning in Luke chapter 10. He came like lightning. He didn't come like <laughs> anything, or he came so energetic. He carries so amount of, um, he, he, the devil is powerful. He came, he didn't come like anything. Oh, you are just joking with the devil. You don't know. <laughs> you think you can overcome the devil with that fornication lifestyle? That last, those the earthly desires, you are lasting about the things of the, on the service of the earth, you want to overcome the devil. <laughs> you lie bad. This, this is why the Bible says that those who are sitting in heaven should rejoice. I'm asking you a question. Jesus says that those who dwell in them, in the heavens, they are the ones that are supposed to rejoice. Are you in heaven? You are still living on the surface of the earth. The inhabitants of the, he says that woe to the inhabitants of the earth and the sea. You are still living on this surface of the earth where we still have the sea. And you are still joking with the devil. Christ Satan fell like lightning. You then let me continue and read something. He says that for the devil has come down to you having great wrath. Do you know wrath? Someone who is very angry. If you have not seen an angry man, <laughs> I can remember some time ago when I was a kid and then I could do some stupid things. My mother can become very angry that my mother can give you a slap. You will never think she is your mother. And you know, if someone has made you very, very angry before, you can imagine this. Just imagine that you're a student and then you write essence and the devil, uh, uh, the lecturer has failed you in the course that you know you could have gotten A1. Or let me say A plus, or a, let me say A, and you dwell in that program, in that program. Just imagine. I want you to tell you something that an angry man carries some amount of an energy in him, eh, that he can do things that he don't know. There are certain things that an angry man can do that he has no power to do. 
if I am not angry right now, there are certain things I can do. But if I get angry right now, you can hit someone that, to a point that the person can die. That was what happened between Cain and Abel. This was exactly the same thing that happened between Cain and Abel. Cain got angry and at the end of the day, he was able to kill. Satan is able to kill because of this anger. The, uh, even if I am man, you get angry, your nerves changes, your arteries changes, the, your heart rate changes. There is an increase in heart rate. You get a new amount of energy, and that energy that the devil developed when he got angry, when he, he was thrown out of heaven, was the energy that the lightning carries. And you are joking with the devil, you are joking with sin. Repent. You are joking with the devil. You don't know what you are doing. Hmm. He says that for the devil has come down to you having great wrath because he knows that he has a short time and that short time is a symbolic of hard lightning occurs. Lightning occurs in a short time. And that was the time that the devil had. Satan has a very short period to operate. Don't ever, 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 ever be aligned with the things of the devil. No. He has a very short period of time and in no time he will pass away. The Bible says that the things on the service of the the desires of the service of the they are just passing away. We are sending a corner a dream. The things, the desires, the last of the flesh, the last that can be found on the they are just passing by. But those who have the word of God will live. Those who have the word of God will live. Those who have the word of God will live. Satan just has a very short period, and then I, I then want you to understand that. They overcame this devil by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony. And they did not live their life because they feared death. No, who is death? Death came because of sin and, and the sin was because they carried some amount of energy like the lightning. And Jesus Christ has given us the power. The blood of Jesus is able to wash sin away. So what is your problem? If you are being washed in the blood of Jesus, I'm telling you that the word of their testimony can overcome the devil. What are you waiting for? Why don't you believe this word of the testimony from our Lord Jesus? What are you waiting for? Let the blood of the Lamb Jesus wash you and the devil will fall like lightning from your heaven. The devil will fall like lightning from your heaven. If you have the blood of the Lamb Jesus and the word of their testimony. And let me continue. The verse 17, and the dragon was enraged with the woman, and he went forth to make war with the rest of her offspring, who keeps the commandment of God and have the testimony of Jesus. This is the testimony we are talking about. We are not talking about the Muhammad has no testimony. Forget about him. Forget about him. Forget about the idolism or courtism, Freemason, and in any kind of power. Those, the things that the Kunti and the Katanga people are doing in Kenya University, forget about them. They have no power. This is what the devil is doing. He's very angry with the woman and her offspring, you and I. And the Bible continues to say that do we, we that are keepers of the commandment of God and the testimony of Jesus. If you have the testimony of Jesus and the commandment of God, don't joke with the devil because the devil is angry at you. The devil is angry at you. Be very, very extra careful. But then, then glory be to the Lord Jesus. He says that he has given us authority and power to trample over the serpent. This is what the Bible said. Do not worship Jesus in fear. Don't be afraid of the devil. Cast any unbelief out. Don't be afraid of witches and wizards and any other things. Jesus said that he has given us authority to trample over this dragon, this old serpent. He has given us authority to trample over him, over it. I don't want to give the devil that uh, pronoun, him. No, it. Yes. And he says that, he has given us that power to overcome all his powers and then nothing by any means. Jesus says that nothing, nothing by any means. This is our hope that nothing by any means shall harm us. Why are you afraid of the devil? We have a Jesus that is all powerful. We have Jesus that is all powerful. Come to Jesus and he will save you. If you want to run away from this devil that we are talking about, that fell like lightning and he carries so amount, so huge amount and energy. Come to Jesus. He says that I will give you power to overcome the devil. And the Bible says that and when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, you shall receive power. Hey! And John says that all those that believe in his name have been given the power 
to be called the Son of God, and we are seated with Jesus at the heavenly places. And Jesus is seated on the throne, and out of that throne cometh for lightning. Satan is falling. <laughs> Satan shall never rise, he is falling. <laughs> this is the Jesus we serve. This is the God that we serve. Satan bows to the name Jesus. What are you waiting for? Come to Jesus. Believe Jesus and be saved. Believe Jesus and be saved. Believe Jesus and be saved. This is the word of God. If you want to accept this, this Jesus that gives power to overcome this so much, Devil that felt like lightning, that is so angry, that carries so amount of power, and you won't, don't want to be hurt by the devil by any means and in any means. You can just recite these prayers after me. We usually call it the sinner's prayers. It's just because the Bible says that anyone who shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Anyone who calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. So I'm just leading you to call on the name of the Lord and you shall be saved. And if you call on the name of the Lord and you believe in the name of the Lord, you shall receive power to overcome this stupid devil. God bless you so much. Jesus Christ will give us understanding and knowledge about his word. Just repeat these words after me if you want to accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior. If you have backslided from the faith and you want to backslide from the devil, you have backslided from the faith unto the devil and now you want to backslide from the devil unto the faith. If you don't want to fall like lightning, but then you want to be heaven, that Satan falls from. <laughs> Let's reply this words. Just repeat these words after me. And the Lord Jesus is going to give you so much authority and power to trample over the scorpions and the devils and the serpents. And they shall by any means, they shall by no means, no means hurt you. Say, Lord Jesus. I believe you are the Son of God. I believe you are the Lord God. You are the Christ. I have accepted you into my heart that you died for me. I know I am a sinner, but I believe you are the Savior of the sinners. I have accepted you into my heart. Rule over my life. I believe in your death and I believe in your resurrection. I believe in your second coming and I have accepted your name as the only name that saves mankind. I believe it. I receive it and I confess it in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I am praying for you. Holy Spirit, I pray in the name of the Lord Jesus. That let any devil fall from our heaven in the name of Jesus. I pray by the power of the Holy Spirit. Is there any listener? Is there anyone here that is listening to your word? Let the devil fall in the name of Jesus. Let the devil fall. Let Muslims fall. Let occultism fall. Let idolism fall. Let any power that is not of Christ Jesus by of the devil fall in the name of Jesus. I pray in the name of Jesus. Is there anyone that is demon possessed that is listening to the message? I cast that spirit in the name of Jesus. Out now in the name of Jesus. I pray by the mighty power of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus that we trample over any snakes, we trample over any devil, we trample over any scorpions, we trample over any dragon in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray for the sick as well. That anyone that is being inflicted by the devil with sickness, I cast that sickness out now in the name of Jesus. I declare you healed. I declare any stomach pains healed. I declare I declare any migraines healed. I pray in the name of Jesus that anyone suffering from any headache, any heart disease, any chronic liver, any kind of any hepatitis, jaundice, any kind of disease, I cast you out of the body now. Cancer, leave the body now in the name of Jesus. Kidney problem be resolved in the name of Jesus. I pray by the mighty power of the Holy Spirit that you are healed, you are healed, you are healed, you are healed by the strength of Christ in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Jesus Christ should bless you so much for listening to the word of God. I know you are empowered. Satan has fallen from our heaven like lightning in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Jesus Christ should bless you. This is evangelize the word. We preach Jesus Christ. So if you say evangelize the word, you respond, preach Jesus Christ. God bless you so much. See you another time. Be empowered for action. Amen.